The Goonies came out in 1986, and this really showcased just how talented the people at Konami were. They did such a great job with incorporating everything from the, uh, from the movie, including the characters. There's so many secrets. There's power-ups. There's uh, references to other Konami games, such as Gradius. Um, they did a really, really good job. Now, this game can be quite difficult because it's pretty much a big maze, but it's it's it goes linear. It's not like it's sequel Goonies 2 where it's a huge open world. This definitely has levels to it, but there's still a big maze. So I'm going to show you guys how to get every single power-up in here in Special Icon and uh, how to navigate through the mazes. Let's get started. All right, the Goonies, let's get started. Hit start. All right, so we start off in the uh, Fertelli restaurant, I believe. This is where we're at. So there's a kick. Um, that's for your attack right now, and it's pretty short. Um, but the trick is for this, there's hidden diamonds everywhere. If you get eight, then you get a uh, free, or then you get your full uh, life back. So the trick is to, to uh, you can hold down the kick button and then just walk around with it held down. So hit kick and then you can just walk around and then if there just so happens to be a hidden diamond, that's kind of a hack to be able to get it. But there's a couple hidden down here. So just hold it down um, and you'll get it. Uh, and over here, so watch, I'm going to hold kick down and I'm going to go over here. And there we go. So look up at the top of the screen. So that's a fire suit. Uh, we get a, uh, that'll help us out for the next level where there's fire that tries to get us. So to lay a bomb, hit down and, uh, the kick button or the attack. So here's a Fertelli guy. He's, he's bad news. Whenever you see him, just, uh, kind of, uh, kick him. But you can't kill him. These guys, you have to hit twice. The blonde ones. Uh, whoops, yeah, I dropped down all the way here. So if you're out of bombs, look for a rat, and they'll always drop one. So hold down the kick button, and then you get three of them here. Only three can appear on the screen. There's going to be some parts where, uh, oh, we got to go. We're running out of time. Uh, where there's going to be more than, uh, one, uh, what's it called? More, more than one diamond hidden, but I think due to the game's limitations, it can only have three on the screen, and it'll uh, it'll do a little ring for you if once the time's running out. So hold down the kick button and come over here, and now we have the headphones, which is going to help us for the next level with uh, I think Jake Fertilli. He's the singing one in the movie. He will, uh, um, he'll sing notes, like musical notes. Go in here. Just hit up. So he hits, oh no, I don't need to go into here. Where am I? Oh, we go to the left. Okay. Um, he sings notes. Oh, really? Uh, but you'll, we'll be immune to them since we have the earmuffs. You need three keys to be able to, um, uh, to pass the level. If you don't get the three keys, see that you don't, uh, you, we, we're immune to that since we have the earmuffs. And always be, be on the lookout for bombs, for your bombs. Always make sure, because nothing's more annoying than when you uh, you go to a, a door that needs to be exploded and you don't have the bombs. I think... No, no, no. Okay, yeah, we just go down. I think if we duck here... No, where is that? 
So we're immune to the fire, too. If we didn't get that fire suit, we would be, uh, uh, we would take damage from that. So, uh, Stevie Spielberg is down here. There he is. All right. We got Stevie. So now, let's go over here. I think this might be health. Because we already have three keys. Yeah, there we go. So there's a raincoat right here. So just hit down. I forgot to tell you about this. In this level, you have to hit down to be in the certain spot. So you need to know where the... Uh, where the thing is. Where the power-ups are. So just drop down and you'll clip. And I think there's a diamond in here. If we go here and hit down. Yeah, there's one. Oh no, see, we don't have, we didn't have the bomb. That's what I was talking about. And if you get hit by that bomb, when it explodes, you die instantly. So now we have the slingshot. It's only a limited amount of shots. Oh, and that is uh, invincibility. So let's go back up. Whoops. Uh, I think we go up. Because I think down there's a brick wall. Yeah, see. Stupid, man. I keep getting hit. So, take the bottom route. And this is... Um, I think it's a slingshot. No, it's actually the Goonie. Yeah. Alright, now we gotta go back up. It definitely helps having the power-ups, because you don't have to stop and mess with all this all this stuff. Okay, so now we just need to go down, and here's the key. Yoink. Okay, so we need to go fast on this level. Just taking damage. I think there's some, uh... Diamonds up here. Yep, just hold down the, uh... The shot button. See, that's what I was talking about. You can only have three on the screen at once. So hold down the shoot button, or the attack button. And then here's where Konami is. There he is. So I was just holding down the uh, the attack button. So there's diamonds here. So just hurry up and collect these and get out of here. This is kind of a dangerous spot section. Okay, let's go down here and into here. All there is here is uh, just power. Um, what's it called? These are just it's just extra life. Okay, I don't need that. So since we have the raincoat, water can't hurt us. And this is steam, so we're invincible to steam. Oh, it's a key. Um, what am I doing? Uh, on the other side right here, there is a health power up. Ugh. I knew something like that was going to happen. But we'll have health here. Oh, we don't? What? That's weird. Ah, screw it. I didn't need it. That was invincibility. Okay, let's go back down here. 
into there. Uh oh. Watch out for Knucklehead. Oh, okay, we don't have the slingshot anymore. So right here, you gotta, uh... Oh, no. There is, uh... What's his name? Uh, like, B-Man or something? Come on, man. What is this stupid... Oh, you hit up. Yeah, there he is. Okay, yeah, hit up right here where I was standing. Watch out for these. We're gonna get a, uh... What's it called? Oh no, see I didn't have the bomb. Get back here, rat. Ratatouille. Uh, I think we go up, actually. We gotta go up. Ugh. R rookie mistakes. Okay. Alright. Alrighty, so we need to go left. Some health. Okay, let's go back up. Don't go down. Okay, good. Let's go in here. Make sure, okay, we have uh, a bomb. Okay, wait a minute, I thought... Okay, we need to go down, actually. There is... What's it called here? Uh, the helmet. I hit up right there. And that will get you the helmet. Now we don't have to worry about falling debris. Uh, I think there's a diamond here. Here it is. I wish the bomb stayed. Oh, that's not fair. Twice? Okay, let's go down. Sorry, knucklehead. Not today. Like I said, man, don't get that don't get in the way of that bomb or you'll die instantly. Or the bullet will hurt hurt you pretty good too. We have to go back up the skull. Now we need to go down. So let's just drop down here, but we need to go to the other side. Okay, now scroll the screen over. I think we, uh... Go down here. Okay, let's go down here. And... Go up. This is a uh, health. Well, let's get another uh, bomb. It's nice being immune to these things. So we could have eat we can go down there because we're finished with the level. Uh, but I'm gonna show you a warp. So there is a uh, thing right here. So go down. Now hit up. And now we have uh, those shoes. Um taking damn it. I'm taking a bath on this. A bath. Alright, let's drop down here. And this is where the shoes come in. This is the only place in the game where the shoes work. So watch how high you can jump. You will never do that. Oh, no. We don't have the... The what's it called? I need a... A bomb. 
Because there's a Goonie you can rescue. Come on, give me that. Rat! Yes! Let's see if we can make it. We gotta go fast. Oh, look at that. There was a rat right there. Didn't even need to go back. Alright, let's just skip all this. Now go down. Okay, now lay the bomb. And there's a Goonie here. Okay, now let's drop down. And here we are. We just totally skipped level 4. And here we are at level 5. Now I'll... Sh I'll I'm gonna uh, fade this out. And then I'll... Uh, Fade it back in when I got the, uh, shoes. Yang. Okay. Get out of my life. Okay, let's just go to the, uh... To the end. Hold right. Okay, now hit this. Now in this one, we can only hold on to one bomb. If that thing, if those things crush you, uh, instant death. Skip that mouth for now. It's best to go up first. This jump can be a bit difficult. You have to jump right on the edge of it. I always miss that. Oh, and I don't have the the bomb. I might as well... Well, there we go. This rat is annoying. I always get hit by that. <clears throat> Look at that, we already got all three keys, but the level is far from over. Let's see if the rat's gonna get me. Oh no, that stupid Fertelli did. The little butthole. Okay, here we go. Let's go in the mouth. In the mouth of madness. Uh, we're gonna get... Come on. I don't think so. I think we forgot to get the plane. Take the top route. The bottom route is only, uh, it's only gonna trap you. Yeah, we forgot to get the plane. Oh no, you. Man. Alright, now we gotta go back in the mouth, but now we have to backtrack. Because we didn't get that plane. There's a Vic Viper from uh, from Gradius in this. Oh, really? Where is? Oh, okay. I know where it is. Take damage. Uh, drop down here. Okay, so this part's tricky. To be able to get this plane, you gotta act quick. We have to go to the uh, left of this dropping boulder, and then uh, hit down and attack, and then immediately climb up to the vine on the right to be able to catch the plane. Wait for it. 
Okay, hurry, and then go to the right. Yes, or the left. So if you just climb the vine, it, uh... It doesn't really, uh, matter. Because you have to go to the left or it's gonna disappear. Alright, let's go down here. Oops. Oops. Scroll this over. Good. Alright, let's grab everything in this room. Oh, we're out of bombs. Dumb. Unfair. So there is armor coming up right here. Hit down and uh, attack. So now, right by the shoes in the upper right, we have armor. Now the armor is going to protect us from uh, uh, the Fertelli's bullets, which is the most uh, deadly attack in the whole game, other than the instant deaths. And bats. We're invincible to bats now. Um, yeah. Not cool. That fantastic Mr. Fox. Give me that. All right, we're in the last section. Right. Okay, so now that's the backpack. So the backpack is gonna allow us to have two bombs now. Oh no. Am I gonna have to go back around? All right, looks like we gotta backtrack now. That sucks. Unfortunately, we're not far away. I don't even know what's in that thing. It's probably like health. Something stupid. Ah, oh, looks like I might need it. Really? Really? Man, just gobbling up the time. Goblin. I'll skip it. I mean, I don't care. Alright. Probably something stupid anyways. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, slingshot! Well worth it. Let's just drop down. And go through the gate. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the Tanuki suit first. All you have to do is hit left. Climb up here. There's some diamonds over here. All you gotta do is hit left. Alright, now let's go down the vine. You gotta watch out for those jumps. You gotta jump kind of late. Alright, 
Like, look how much stuff, like, wants to hurt you. It's, uh, definitely worth getting all the, uh, uh, the, the power-ups and stuff. Man, this game would be incredibly hard without it. I'll take that bomb. Alright, now we're gonna need to go back in the mouth. Not cool. Those octopuses are actually... Um, this game must have been in development before the final movie was released. Because it was... Uh, whoa, I almost fell off. Uh, because th that was in a, a cutscene in the movie. Um, okay, let's go to the right. There's actually a spaceship we need to grab. Just for points. I'll take you. Okay, so go here and then hit, I think, down or left. No, it's just left. And he should appear. Or is it down? Come on, there he is. Excellent. I think he got to hit down. Alright, now let's go back into the far left mouth. So that, uh, that reaper thing that shows up and flies, that's from another cutscene in the movie. Uh, I guess, uh, from one of the booby traps. Um, uh-oh. I guess a, uh, some sort of, uh, thing popped up. Some sort of, uh, ghoul or something pops up from one of the, uh, uh, one of the booby traps. And we gotta go back in the mouth from where we came from. And it's nice that these last levels aren't very long. It's a breath of fresh air. Alright, so now let's go down. We need to go down the right vine so we can get the, uh, what's it called? There's one last door. I think it's just health, though. Alright, now we have to go up and around. It sucks that you can't jump off the vines, unfortunately. So now we have to go just up and around. I'm actually going to get some bombs. Because it'll help us out for the next level, for the last level. The last level is very, very short. So now we can just jump across. There we are. So here comes the last level. These are actually called passageways. In the game. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to do that. So hit down. I think we're immune to the bones. Not the actual skeleton, but the bones he throws. So there's some, uh, things here. Yeah, see, we're immune. Okay. So here comes, uh, kind of a fun level. Right here. So, I don't know... Oops. Um, it seems... As if that... So, once you rescue Andy, the girl, she, uh... What's it called? The game's over. Okay, let's grab that. These fish are relentless in this 
part. So let's, uh... Okay, we have a... I'm gonna get him so we have a bomb. I'm gonna go up and get this one. She doesn't seem to ever be in this one. So let's get that one first. Okay. So I'm gonna get, uh... Fukaro. Where is he? Come on, dude. Where are you? There he is. Oh, I missed him. Shouldn't have planted that bomb. That's life, man. So you could have got Fukaro. Uh-oh, uh we're running out of time. Let's go up here. I'm dead. Hopefully Andy isn't in this one. If it is, I'm not rescuing her. Yes! Okay, we got the king's portion. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Look at this. I'm gonna die at the very end. Okay, let's go in that one. She has to be in there. Oh, Noah Fertelli? Alright, plant the bomb. Oh, did you see how close that was? There's Andy. There's Andy. We just beat the game. We just beat the game. Now we can enjoy the ending. The game just wraps around right after this. So I'm going to fade it out after the credits are done. And I'll see you for my final thoughts and game rating. This game was incredible. Like, such an adventure. Like, I'm... A. It's, it gets an A. There is so much replay value to it as well, due to the special characters, such as Konami Man, um, Vic Viper. There was... Uh, who else was in there? Um, Tanuki Suit, stuff like that. Which is weird. I think that's, like, Japanese folklore, stuff like that. It got a little weird towards the end. At least the first characters that we would meet were like part of the Konami universe. You know, Vic Viper from Gradius. Um, so, but like, then you get to like Fukaro, like the guy at the end who I who I didn't quit, get quite uh, get to grab him because I laid that bomb. It was, um, you get a thousand points instead of 5,000 points if you don't grab the characters um, for it, but it still rewards you for triggering um, the image to show up. So that was... All right, I'm still considering it getting every power up. Um, so it got a little weird towards the end with the um, the Tanuki suit um, as well. You, as soon as you hear Tanuki suit, you think of Super Mario Brothers three. Uh, but I guess this has something to do with some Japanese folklore stuff. Um, for the Fukaro guy, I tried to do research on it. I tried to look him up. Couldn't find anything on this Fukaro thing, um, and unfortunately the manual for this game since it was only released in japan is all japanese i couldn't find an english version for it which was interesting because it's like the text in the game was english so i don't know that was kind of interesting maybe um i don't know i don't know what was behind that what the heck was that um so anyways yeah no the game was really great um Really enjoyed seeing all the characters from it. I guess they were all, like, pretty much the same from, uh, as far as, like, the sprite goes, except for the last one with Andy. And of course, they had to kind of make it different. And the controls were really good. The The game is just polished. For 1986, this was an incredible release from Konami. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next game. Cue the music. <laughs>